good morning everybody so let's start with some new examples regarding compression member but before that we have to understand that what we have learned in previous lecture and that is the design of struts that design of strut is important for us but in previous lecture we have understand that how to classify our section of column as the i section that we have understand but now in this lecture we are going to understand that what will happen for analyze the compression member and how we can finding out the compressive strength of column as a compression member so it is little bit different from the strut and basically how we can calculate differently for the column let's see for the understanding of compression member column here i have taken one case that is n is hb 300 at the rate 588 newton per meter is to be used as a short column here it is a short column it is very much important for us determine its compressive strength assuming that fe410 still with fy250 this is our is hb section 300 specific weight that is 588 this is our capital h this is thickness of flange this is thick uh, width of web this is thickness of uh, web all the data is very much important and we will get it from the steel table what is data we will get from steel table that is for is hb 300 at the rate 588 newton per meter first area is equal to 7480 mm square width of flange 250 so b is equal to half of width that is 125 mm thickness of flange 10.6 h 300 thickness of web 7.6 and root radius r that is 11 this data is given in steel table now for the finding out the design compressive strength that is pd is equal to a into fcd for that we have to first find out a and what is a that will totally depending on our section classification for the section classification we have to see page number 18 in is 800 2007 and in that case we have to first find out epsilon and that epsilon is equal to 250 upon fy raised to half that is given in not number 2 page number 18 so we will get here epsilon is 1 clear now for that from page number 18 we have to take first flange as a classification b upon tf that is 125 upon 10.6 is equal to 11.79 which is less than 15.7 epsilon that's why it is okay d upon tw d is equal to as we know 300 minus 2 into 10.6 minus 2 into 11 divided by 7.5 that is 33.79 which is less than 22 so our section is classify and it is semi compact so there is a no slender so 
our effective area is gross area. So, we can take A g is equal to A e is equal to 7480 mm square. Now, dear student, whenever we are going to analyze the section of any but it is short then no buckling will occur because buckling will be occur in long column so we are going to take directly fy instead of fcd because there is no reduction, no reduction in strength due to no buckling. That is why for the short column, the failure stress will be equal to the yielding stress. No buckling will occur. So, we can take FCD as a FY. Now, the design compressive strength PD is equal to A into FCD. But here instead of FCD, FY we can take. So, FY is equal to 250. So, our PD is equal to 1870 kilonewton. So, what we are going to understand over here, whenever we have short column, the value of FCD is taken as a full value when it is going to long column that is depending on buckling the class and it will be reduce our strength due to buckling because whenever the column is long due to compression the capacity of taking force or resist the strength it will be reduced but here there is a no buckling so no reduction in strength so we are going to take fy as a full strength clear now some another case it is most important case for us because here we are going to cut off the section how let's start n i s h b 300 at the rate 588 newton per meter is to be used. The same column here we are going to take as a short column. Determine its compressive strength. The example is same, but change is where here Fe 540 and Fy is equal to 410. In, in previous case, that is Fy is equal to 250. So, what is change coming over here? Let's we are going to discuss. Here steel grade is equal to 540. So, Fy is equal to 410 mega Pascal. Now, the property of the section that is same as we discussed previous area is equal to 7480. Width of flange that is 250. So, B is equal to 125. Thickness of flange is equal to 10.6. Height is equal to 300. Thickness of web that is 7.6, R is equal to 11, Fy is equal to 410. Now, what is twist over here? Whenever we are going to classify our section, we must have to finding out the epsilon and that epsilon is depending on Fy. So, here Fy is 410. So, we will get epsilon that is 0 0.781. Clear? Now, let us check flange limit from steel table uh, from, from code is 800 page number 18 the flange limit there is 15.7 epsilon so it is only 12.26 web limit that is 42 epsilon so it is 32.80 now we have to compare this value now onwards so let us check flange is equal to b upon tf that is 125 upon 10.6, so it is 11.79, which is less than 12.26, that is okay. But in a wave, there is D upon TWD is equal to 300 minus 2 into 10.6 10 minus 2 into root radius upon 7.6, so it is 33.79, which is greater than 32.80. So, here it is 
not okay. Now, the web is not okay. So, we have to cut the web from the effective area. So, how much length we have to cut over here? For that, we have to take some calculation, but we have to understand that here this is our I section, this is edge, this is thickness of flange, thickness of web, root radius, width of flange, half of width, uh, this is our depth, this is 256.80, from here we can calculate the small d. So, whenever we are going to cut off this section, it is cut off from the centroidal axis of this section. So, how much length we have to cut off that is 19.38 from we can calculate that is just discussed here in this slide. Therefore, the cross section is slender on axis of property the effective cross sectional area is to be used. So, D here that is 300 minus 2 into 10.6 minus 2 into 11. So, it is 256.8. To make the web semi compact, let us effective D upon TW that is 40 into epsilon. So, we have to take D as a 237.42, but actually what we have 256.8. So, difference between two that is 19.38 mm length is not effectively used of wave in this section. Clear? Now, this length is not consideration in wave. So, area of this is deducted from the our section. So, ineffective area that is 19.38 into 7.6. So, it is 147.288 mm square area is reduced. So, effective area that is deduction of this area from the actual gross area and we will get the effective area that is 7332.71 mm square. Now, here effective area is taken this much for the calculation of design compressive strength PD and multiply with Fy that is 410 because it is short column, clear. So, we will get PD that is 3006.41 kilo Newton, clear. So, whenever this kind of situation is creating, we have to take this much calculation additional. Another example and this is for the long column. These are the cases whenever you are going to calculate there is some different different cases are there. Now, determine the design axial compressive load on the column section ISLB 500 at the rate 0 0.75 kN per meter having the length 5 meter because it is a long column and pinned at the ends. Take Fy 250 e is equal to 2 into 10 raised to 5 meter per mm square. So, first of all we have to take property of this ISLB 500. So, open steel table what we will get just open the steel table. The property of ISLB 500 that is area is equal to 9550 mm square, width of flange 180, so half of width that is 90, thickness of flange 14.1, thickness of web 9.2, height 500, root radius 17, RZZ and RYY. Here additional we have to take these two properties from steel table because we have to classify the buckling class. That is why we have needed that thing. Now, the section classification. So, for that first we have to finding out this epsilon and basis of that epsilon we have to classify flange and wave as we discussed in previously. So, here the section is not okay. So, again here we have to reduce the 
length of this wave and that is calculation just we have understand that again the d is equal to 500 minus 2 into 14.1 minus 2 into 17 that is 437 mm. Now, the effective depth that is 40 into epsilon. So, the d is equal to 368. Now, difference between that that is 69.8. So, ineffective area that is 642.16. So, the net effective area A is equal to reduction of from 9550 minus 642.16. So, that is 8907.84 mm square. Clear? Now, we have effective area. In short column, what we are going to do? We are going to just effective area into Fy directly and calculate the design compressive strength. But here, it is a long column. So, for the long column, we have to just buckling class calculation and the effective length. Here, effective length is pinned connection. So, open the page number 45 in IS 800 2007 and there is for the pin connection effective length KL is equal to 1 into our actual length. So, here effective length is 5000 mm. Whenever we are going to calculate, just understand the criteria of this effective length from page number 45 that is most important for our calculation of column. Okay? Let us now buckling class classification. So, for that we have to refer page number 44. All of you open page number 44 and just see which have condition is useful for us for that we have to just calculate h upon bf that is 2.76 which is greater than 20. Now, for this condition again second condition that is thickness of flange it is less than 40. So, these two criteria satisfied then our classification must be calculated and what is the class? the buckling class A for the about ZZ and buckling class B for the YY axis is calculated from the page number 44. Now, we have this class. This is on this class, we can just finding out FCD from our curve classification FCD can directly calculated from the KL upon R and that is given on page number 40, 41, 42 and 43. 40 number page will be used for buckling class A, 41 number for buckling class B, 42 number for buckling class C and 43 number for the buckling class D. Now, we have two different class for the two different axis. Regarding this axis, our R is changed that we can take from the steel table RZZ and RYY. Now, the buckling about ZZ axis KL upon R and here about ZZ axis that is why we are going to take RZZ. So, we will get 24.87 and FY is 250. So, we can calculate FCD from the page number 40 for class A and FCD will be 20 sorry 223.08 Newton per mm square. That is coming from the interpolation and that we know very well how we can calculate the value from the interpolation. Now, we have FCD. So, we can calculate the design compressed wave strength about ZZ axis. So, PD is equal to AE into FCD of ZZ axis that is A is equal to 8907.84 into FCD is equal to 223.08. So, PD is equal to 1987.16 kilometer. So, about ZZ 
the capacity of taking compressive strength, compressive load is 1900. Now, about y y axis, we have to take k l upon r y y. So, we will get k l upon r value that is 149.72. Here, the k l upon r is higher. Whenever k l upon r is higher, the slenderness ratio increase and whenever slenderness ratio increase, the FCD is reduced. So, FCD from the page number 41 for a class B about y y axis there is buckling class B. So, FCD we will get from that page that is 64.24. Now, basis on this design compressive strength about y y axis P d is equal to A into F C D this much F C D will take us. So, here P d is getting only 572.24 kN coulomb because about that axis the buckling is maximum. So, it reduced our compressive strength of the column. Now, for the overall section our strength is smaller of these two value and that is P d is equal to 572.24 kilo Newton. So, from this we can calculate our design compressive strength of column for the different different cases clear. So, this is very much important for you. Now onwards we are going to take some another example for understanding this. This is very much important whenever you are going to design the steel structure this is on that. So, thank you. Thank you very much. We will discuss our next example in our next lecture till then bye take care. Thank <laughs> you.